Hi, it's Zobo1975, and today I'm going to talk about a subject that upsets a lot of people when it comes to really dangerous people. Think that I'm criticizing the game when I talk about the grind. Um, now, the reason I want to talk about the grind is um, a lot of players have problems with this game. The fact that grind is very strong. You have to do a lot of things to unlock and get anywhere. And a lot of those tasks are repetitive and very samey. Um, there is not enough variety in the ways in which you can do things. For example, the material grind forces you to do a lot of things that you don't want to do, like go on the surface of planets and drive around for long periods, scooping up lots of stuff. The engineer grind, you have to go and do things to unlock every single engineer, then you have to do things to get in favor with every single engineer, then you have to collect the materials to build the parts for every engineer, then you have to... There is a lot of grind. There is a strong level of grind within this game, whether that be the credit grind, the engineer grind, the grind for materials, uh, the grind for rank, all the rank grind. I remember the rank grind to get my cutter. It's that hurt. That was painful. And should, my argument is, should the grind be reduced? Should there be less grind within the game? Would this game be easier to sell to people, to my friends, if the grind was less? And that's the key element for me is because people have a perception of Elite Dangerous that it's all about the grind. And the grind is strong with this one. There are a lot of games like that, a lot of games that are built like that. A lot of the games like that though are free to play, whereas Elite Dangerous isn't. Um, in a way, it, you can see it being a free to play title in a few years. But I, I'm personally, I love Elite Dangerous. I think it's a great game. I just wish there were other ways of doing things. I wish your money could be used for more. Um, for example, I wish you could buy materials. I don't see why not. I mean, I don't see why I can't buy some arsenic from someone to go and use an engineer. Um, yes, give me the option of going getting the arsenic myself by landing on a planet and doing it. But if I don't want to do that, why should I not be allowed to take a shortcut? Um, why have multiple grinds when you could just simply have um, players shortcutting some of that grind by using other things? So using their money to shortcut material grind by using their combat expertise to shortcut some other grind. You know, there should be more than one way to get around a problem. You shouldn't have these linear repetitive tasks over and over again. You should be able to take different routes to success, um, you know, different win conditions. Uh, that's the way I see it. I would like to see this game uh, pull back a little bit on the grind and not make you know you know not make you have to do so many different types of grind if for example you were able to um, use your money more to alleviate other grinds that would be brilliant I mean you can to a certain extent you can use donation missions to up your reputation you can use you know but I would like you to see it be see you able to use your money in more ways to alleviate other grinds. Now this may be my point of view because I'm a space trucker so obviously money is quite easy to come by. I'm forever just doing missions, that's what I get up to. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think the grind is correct? Do you think there's too much grind? Do you think there's too little grind? You know, how do you feel? Do you even like me using the word grind? I, mean, I know some people get really quite butthurt when I use the word grind to describe gameplay mechanics of an Elite Dangerous. Um, but that's just my opinion. I think the grind should be reduced, and I'm throwing that question out to you. Should the grind be reduced? And that's all. Thank you very much for watching.